All right, this is gonna be a video. This is my dump trailer again, max uh, 16 foot. It's a uh, DJX. And uh, a lot, a few things I've done to this upgrade the uh, tires because they sucked, I had a blow up on the way back from the dealer. So, um, but this is gonna be a video on change of this little five amp uh, charger and upgrading to the uh, Victron. This is a 12 volt, 25 amp charger. This is their IP67 charger. I didn't find anything online about it except for in different languages. Um, and for my purposes, you know, I really wasn't sure how this would work out, um, but it is waterproof. Uh, it is rated for 12 volt uh, charging at, and at 25 amp. It's Bluetooth. There's an app that you can change the charge settings. You can um, charge the uh, lithium iron phosphates, uh, the uh, lead acids that we have right here, AGMs, etc. I even believe the, oh, what are they? They call the advanced lead acid also, I believe, has a, a charge setting on, on here also. Uh, don't quote me on that. Look it up yourself. Um, that's not what we're doing here. We're just going over the um, regular flooded lead acid. Everything here I sourced on Amazon. Uh, again, the Victron IP67 12 volt 25 amp charger. Excuse the noise. I bought this here off Amazon. This is a waterproof um, plug. And that's going to be to marry these two things together right here so if it is raining and we do get some intrusion in here while i am charging hopefully we won't short anything out and i'm going to be changing this over uh, because i do think i haven't taken it apart yet but i assume these things are uh come as a package here for this little five amp charger and this is the uh noco uh, gcp1 this is an AC port. This is just a 16 inch and it's, you know, got a little cover here to make it waterproof while you're rolling down the road, dust proof. Um, anyhow, this is going to be my uh, solution here, hopefully to charge these batteries. These are the 24 group 24 batteries. And I believe looking them up online, they have uh, 70 or so amp hours of uh of capacity as a deep cycle so you know you put 70 and 70 together that's 140 well let's say you you drain your battery down 50 percent well 70 divided by five right that's the, your five amp hours is 14 hours so you, you'd have to be able to charge this for 14 hours in order to come to a uh, full charge again. These pumps here aren't, um, I mean, what, while they're small in size, if you look here, they're running at 257 amps of power. That's a 12 volt power, but still that, that's, I mean, you're looking clo close to uh, 3000 watts. So that's, you know, I believe it's Pukert's law, the, the faster you discharge the battery, the, the less, reserve you're gonna have. Um, it's not gonna be as efficient. So 257 amps of draw as, as you're lifting this heavy dump trailer with maybe a 10,000 pound load or more, uh, that, that's gonna cut down on your, your reserve capacity. It's gonna eat up a lot of your, your, uh, your battery. And so I can see after just a few dumps in a day, you know, having to come back and, and uh, having to recharge. Well, if you have a third dump in a day or a fourth or whatever, and you're trying to charge it at five amps, that it, just ain't gonna work. So um, my solution was this IP67 here. Uh, I know Victron from uh, having some of their products in my RV, uh, they seem to work great. Um, a reputable company and 25 amps. I mean, you're talking about five times the charging so instead of waiting around for five hours you you can charge one hour and get 25 amps worth of of juice 
so it, it's it's quite a bit faster hopefully and and we'll uh, test it out real quick and we will see um, using the battery tester this thing is plugged in right now how well this is gonna work all right here we are everything's installed now I uh, took off the um, the old 5 amp charger I had to drill a uh, I believe that was probably like a one and a half inch hole um, and I had to drill out a two inch hole with a little hole saw uh, attached to my drill that took a little bit of time had to spray paint it did scuff up some of the paint and powder coating um, the holes didn't line up the previous one had four uh, screws that held it in the noco has three so these are the screws that come with the noco there's three um oh self-tapping screws that come with it uh and i added some silicone uh to plug up the holes uh, all i had was white at the time and i got some black spray paint and painted it i used the the uh file to file out the inside um Maybe it wasn't completely necessary, but I did it anyways. Uh, the plug is pretty robust inside. I don't think there'd be a whole lot of movement. Um, and so anyhow, I'll go ahead and plug it in. There it is, plugged in. So it's just a 16 inch uh, cord. You can see it just goes in right there. You can see how robust it is. Like I said, I don't think there'd be an issue, but there's some of the hole there. You can see they're a little bit jagged, but I did uh, file it down. So while it does look rough, it's it's not sharp. Um, as you can see, this is how that cord goes in there. There's probably about three different layers of rubber on, um, on this rubber grommet here. And so while it does look like there's a little bit of intrusion. The other three layers, I believe, are what is supposed to keep everything out. I think it'll be sufficient um, in here anyways. Uh, so that just runs over here, connected it to the battery. Uh, here's the uh, two cables that come from the uh, Victron charger. Positive and a negative. Connected to the batteries. And then here is, well, I'll just come around filming this right handed. So I think it's easiest to come around to this side. And here is the charger. Hopefully that's coming in clear. And I just used some four self-tapping screws again uh, in order to mount it. it seems to be in place really strong I don't think it's gonna move anywhere there is an app that uh, you use in order to connect to the charger and you're able to uh, change between whatever settings you want to set it for whatever type of batteries you have. Again, I just got the, uh, whatever it came with, the interstate uh, lead acid, flooded lead acid batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see how they work. And eventually, I think I'm gonna change to the, I was looking at the lithium, but again, this thing is at 257 amps at 12 volts. Um, even the 100 amp hour lithium uh, batteries, uh, their BMS is usually about 100 amp BMS. Uh, it'll let it surge about twice as much, usually for a few seconds, but I'm not sure that the lithium iron phosphates would be good for this, especially given the room. I mean, I do want to keep this front area for straps and tarps and such. So to fit, you know, 400 amp hour or even two 200 amp hours with a 200 amp BMS in here. In order to run the 257 amps, I, I just don't think it'd be worth it. One, it's just a dump trailer. Um, that's a whole lot of battery, you know, a few thousand dollars in batteries uh, to run a dump trailer. 
when I think uh, I can get some couple Odyssey batteries for 400 bucks each, $800. And I think it would do just well, just fine uh, for this particular application. Um, and also be as maintenance free as possible. So anyhow, uh, hopefully this helps you out. This is a waterproof, um, not submersible, but waterproof uh, battery charger. And it's pretty easy to install, real easy to set up via Bluetooth. Uh, I, I think there might be a setting in there that you can use Wi-Fi and do all that stuff. I haven't set that up yet. I think Bluetooth is just fine for me. It'll let you change parameters if you want for whatever type of battery you have. It does include parameters for the enhanced uh, flooded uh, lead acid. I did verify that when I opened the app. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The tools I needed was um, a drill, a file to file down the uh, hole, the hole saw, two inch hole saw, um, some uh, self tappers in order to mount the actual uh, battery charger. The NOCO came with, with its own, so that was fine. Some silicone if you're, you know, taking off your current charger. If you're not, you're starting from scratch, you probably won't need the silicone because uh, that NOCO comes with a gasket that will seal around the three screws that it comes with. Um, the uh, socket uh, set so you can uh, unhook your current um charger and add in your charger and i used a vac just because there were some metal shavings from the uh, self tappers and also the hole saw so the vac just vacuumed it all up to keep it clean uh, that's all i can think of right now guys uh leave your questions in the comments i check them from time to time um anyhow if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and i'll see if i can answer them best of my ability thanks